Hey guys, out here in the barn throwing a few together. Beefy beehives, 10 frame, uh, deep frames, deep frame boxes. Uh, you know, in the past I've been making a lot of these in mediums. Well, I've decided to, uh, this year I want to sell bees. And about the only way you're going to sell bees is on them deeps, okay? So, anyway, I've been putting two coats of paint on them. These have all just been dipped in that uh, tallearth.com wood preservative. I just dipped them a while ago, and they're sitting here on the floor. I was gonna. I normally let them go in the outside and uh, in the sun, but today's a bad day. So they're in here, and I just scattered them around because I'll be stacking them up soon. Uh, these here I just glued up. I've got one last box here to glue up. And uh, I just ordered 60, 60 more frames. 60 more frames to fill these up. And uh, I don't know where you, where you guys are buying your stuff. I've been getting my stuff from Man Lake. Uh, if you get them, if you get them in 20 uh, lots, boxes, you can get these for uh, 290 uh, free shipping. So buy, buy at least three cases, buy at least two cases, that way you can get over the hundred mark, hundred dollar mark, and you have free shipping. Of course I think that the trick on free shipping is they, they, you know, add a few more cents to these things, but still, all in all, $2.90 a piece, so that's not bad at all. Uh, I've got one box left here. These are kind of, uh, they can be a pain in the butt. If you, if you never put one together and you're, you're looking at my box and say, man, I'd like, I think I'd like to do that, but then you're gonna start putting it together and you're gonna get mad and you're gonna cuss me out and you're probably gonna throw all the stuff in the dumpster and go on and order you a box. But there's a few tricks here. Uh, I notice there's a screw up here on this one. You see this here is off. So I pull it up, I've got that. I might be able to tweak this thing in to where it's not bad. It's, we're gonna make a box out of this regardless. But any any gaps or anything, uh, your old friend, your old friend is a water, water putty, Durham. You'll notice here, I had a couple, a little bit of that action on these. No big deal. You paint, you, you mix up a little putty in a small cup and you podge it in and just smooth it off with your fingers and let her set. Let her set overnight and then and then I dip these. Okay, so that's that. Another thing, you'll notice here that this distance here to this band notch dado is shorter than it is here. Ooh. The same board was glued down here. I cut off this much to make this board. That's the last thing we did. We ran it through the table saw to cut it to size. This was nine and uh, I think nine and five eighths was that number. You can see it on the last video. So, but but the reason I put the notch up here thicker, and same with these ends. So when I take my three quarter cut out. I can put it here. If I did it the other way, this handle would be way up here at the top. Not very comfy. So you put it down here. I'll show you how to do that. So without any more BSing, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and throw a box together. And you can see what I'm up to here. This board, this one over here, I just drop in, you know, to hold it apart. You just put a big gob of glue on there, and you leave it, leave the joint, leave that glue high. Leave it nice and fat like that. You're going to get some drippage, no biggie. Wear a nice little denim, denim uh, apron like this, 
Because here's your rag, okay? You know how long I've had this rag, guys? I know it looks like it. 15 years. All right, now you take one of your Harvard spray clamps, slap it up there like that, get it kind of close to the top, put a little tension on it. Pull a tension on that puppy. Not a lot. Tap this in. Okay, flush there, flush there. Make sure you're flush at the top. This is critical. If it's not, because you cut these, this 21 and uh, 5 16 length, if these things aren't right, you're gonna, you know, there's a little fudge here with the distance, but you still want it close here, okay? You get it there, clamp her up tight, and then it all falls apart, okay? We leave the bloopers in on these. Let's do that again. Still got plenty of glue. Something else, the reason it kicked out was, see I've got this thing off down here. We're gonna have to fudge this thing in. That's why it kicked out. So what we'll do here, this is one of the aggravation parts about this, like I was saying, but don't get mad and start crying and want your mommy, okay? This is all doable here. All right, tap this in. Usually, whenever you show somebody how to do something right, there's always screw up. Every time. If, you, if this camera's not on, nobody's watching, these things get blown out pretty fast. Alright, this thing wants to keep rock going back and forth here. Okay, so what we're going to do, I'm going to cinch this puppy up, and we're going to anchor this side right here so it doesn't get away from me. How do we do that? Quarter inch pilot. I mean an eighth inch, eighth inch pilot bit. Right here toward the top. Toward the top, but below the three quarter. You can see it there. Take a three inch deck screw. Slam that puppy in there. Now, you gotta get this up. There she is. Make sure it's up the top. There, just like that. Nail it. Pile it first. These don't take long. If you put a data box together, you're going to have this much time probably in it anyway. You know? With all them dovetail joints and whatnot. Okay, we got our top secured. Got our top done. Keep a Terry towel, damp Terry towel to clean up this, mop up this mess as you go here. All right, we got to get this bottom in. Here's one of them scenarios, because this, this was off right here, a little sloppy on the glue up. When I was gluing these two together, these two boards together, in the vise, clamping her down, this thing got off a little bit, and I didn't catch it. Okay, that's that. Now we're going to take as much of this warp out as we can.
There we go. Not bad. I mean, it, it got good squeeze out here. We got a little bit here, but we're going to take care of that with Durham's. Durham's putty, no big deal. Some of these are come in, just jam up. I mean, they're, the joints are tight. You want to keep these joints filled because you don't want any, uh, you know, any more excuse for beetles to get in. Side is done. That's all you need. You don't need to be firing four screws in this thing. Just put one down here and one up here. That's good. All right, just check it to see if your board falls in okay. It does. Some of these you gotta pry apart a little bit, you know? Slop her on. a little high over here. No biggie. We'll warp that puppy in there in a second. wasn't the best box to demo this but that's always the case when you're trying to show somebody something all these other boxes here went together beautifully but you're gonna have a problem child like this once in a while no big deal we're gonna make it
ordered 60 frames so they'll be in in a couple of days that'll be enough to love these up I'm trying to get ahead of the game I want to have all this equipment ready I don't want to be screwing around <laughs> and reaching for equipment the last second when I need need to get some bees put in boxes You don't want to get all this stuff lined up. Matter of fact, get it all lined up in the field, paint it, done, put your frames in it, sitting there on standby, ready to go for your bees. You don't want to be fooling around the last minute. Okay, you got this handle here. Take your clamp like this and run it down close like this. so. Little glue action. Put it right up there and feel underneath so this is flush. Hold it there and put your clamp on. Just it where it's even with the top side of that cup. Pre-drill it. Not too far. No special distance, just come in a little bit. I've got inch and a quarter uh, drywall screws. Now this is a little tricky here. Watch this. Don't slam these clear in. Because if you do, you're going to split this piece of wood. Bump it in like that. Leave it out just a smidge. Finish tightening Phillips. Done deal. Get all this extra glue crap off of here. One more handle to do and we're done with this box. what I do is let these set for 24 hours then they go out they go into the dip tank preservative then they sit for another 24 hours then they get a coat of paint on them and it depends on what I'm doing that day I may just put one coat of paint on one day and then come back in 24 hours and throw the second one on And what I'm also doing is painting these lips here. I'm not painting the inside of the box, I'm just painting this lip here. Two coats on everything. This bottom isn't painted yet. I've got to flip it over tomorrow. I'm not painting anymore today. I'll flip it over tomorrow and put two coats on that. So as you can see, this box, very basic, simple box that you're utilizing, factory frames in it, but you're doing it all with free lumber. People in foreign countries, whatever, has got a big ship, ships coming in, they got all kinds of this junk. They just burn it or throw it away or something where you can be utilizing it. Like I told you before, I, I was making truckloads of this stuff, turning it all into biochar, cooking it down in my backyard, making biochar and adding it to the garden. 
And then after that project got completed, I said, well, what else can I do with this stuff? It's free. And then the brainstorm came in about beehives, and I said, let's try it. So I've been doing it for several, uh, you know, for a while now. I don't know, maybe second year of this. <laughs> there she is. Stack her up. Stack them up, let them dry for 24. Uh, these boxes here will get painted tomorrow, their first coat or maybe two coats tomorrow. I think I got a fairly sunny day coming in. I just got a quart the other day. I'm going to have to get more. I usually buy it by the gallon, but this is the product that I've been using right here. Valve Spar Duramax. It's a paint and prime satin exterior. And uh, I've got somebody in the driveway. Uh, anyway, I paint them all dark green like this. Why? Because I don't do it anymore, but it's out of habit. I've been doing this for forever, 20 years. I used to put a lot of bees in some pretty hairy spots. And uh, you drive down the highway and you, you see all green woods, right? And you'll see a white beehive out there where you're just asking to get these things stolen, I'm telling you. And the cost of bees today, guys, five frames of bees is over $100. So this is why I do this. You can drive some places where I used to put bees. You could be with 50 yards of them. You wouldn't even see my bees in there. They just blend right in. So it's kind of like a just an old kind of like an OD green. It's a it's a satin finish. It blends right in with the jungle. That's why I do that. Anyway, uh, and then what I'll do too is you, you know I'll do my different colors on the front so the queens don't get confused when they come back. All right, guys, that's it. I'll catch you on the next one. Be happy. Get out there and build them boxes. See ya. Bye-bye.